In this help session, we look at a variety of ways to graph lines using the graph pad. One of the ways you may choose to graph lines is using the slope-intercept form. In this case, we know the slope is 4 fifths and the y-intercept is 0. So we would start by plotting the y-intercept, and we first choose the line tool from the graph pad. So click on the line tool, and then click where you want to put down a point. In this case, I want to put a point at 0, 0. Then I can use my slope by carefully counting up 4 units, and over 5 units to plot a second point on the graph. When I click outside of this line, you'll see that the line becomes a solid black line and is then ready for grading. If you want to go back in and edit your line, click on the line again and you'll see that you have a fine editing tool down here where you could change the points even more carefully. So if you wanted to plot the point at 5, 4.5, you could plot it there. Another way to graph a line would be to plot some points and then draw the line that connects them. In this function, I already have some solutions calculated. I know that negative 3, negative 5, 0, negative 6, and 3, negative 7 are solutions. So I'm going to plot those points first. Negative 3, negative 5, put down a point. Pick another point and plot at 3, negative 7, and then pick another point and plot at 0, negative 6. Now that alone is not enough to make the line, but now we can take our line and carefully plot it going through those three points. Again, clicking outside of the line will make the whole line turn black, and we should be able to submit this as a solution now. When we graph horizontal or vertical lines, you still have to have two points to make that line. So for example, to graph the line y equals 7, I need to have a line that's horizontal through y equals 7. So I choose a line and then choose two points along the horizontal line y equals 7. It doesn't matter which two points you choose, of course, because all of the points along this horizontal line are on the line and thus solutions. Here we need to graph a system of equations. In this system of equations, I've already calculated some intercepts for both of these equations. So I'm going to graph this first line using its intercepts, which are 0, 4, negative 6, 0. So I choose the line tool, and I plot a point at 0, 4, and a point at negative 6, 0. That graphs this first line right here. For the second line, the intercepts are 0, negative 3, and 1, 0. So I plot a second line using 0, negative 3, and 1, 0. So now I've graphed both lines, and from those lines I can see the solution of the system of equations, which appears to be at 3, 6.